I'll throw the towel in. 7.26, just before we leave for work. There we go. That is not bad for cutting back as far as I can. What a mess. Yeah, there's the pipe. Found the other end of the pipe now. Thank you. So there's the drains that are done. And there's the drain that's getting done. And there's our depth. The 875, looking damp. I think so, yeah. That's what the house is, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, we've got to pause because we're going on our Zoom call in Milwaukee now to have a little chat. So, um, see you after the chat. Right, if you make sense of this. I can try to. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy yeah. because I'm in a spot where I can just dig now. Yeah. I'm in a trench. And so that's that's going to be backfill above that pipe, so that's not going to be too hard to get out. And then no. once we can get all the, the, the pipe bedding back in, the out to go back in, and then, see, I'm... <sighs> I'm tempted to come through the, through the, rather than dig a trench and go up, like build, dig a whole new trench. Most of this is dug out. Come through here with it. This is a lot more shutter, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. Which it's just one. We're only digging one trench, and then all we have to do then is get um, uh, we've got a 15 was lintel around there. That'll cut into three. Yeah. That'll do the lintel. So we'll divert it inside. So it comes through the centre porch. Otherwise, we're going. It's a massive, probably another day's day's work. That. Yeah. So there you go. What? Come through that pudding. There's, there's hardly anything to do. We just need to dig back a bit in that corner for the connection. Yeah, we'll do that then. Cool. There you are. We made a decision. So we're going to divert it through the porch. Um. Yeah. I have to do it shallow, shallow bends as well, so it's going to be rotted. It's only surface water anyway, but it's not going to be a problem. So, um, I better get me well done now.
Right, update. We're still here, we're still digging. Just had our little um, Zoom call with Milwaukee. And, uh, if you like it, if you like what we're seeing, if you like what we're doing, so um, everyone's happy, so we've, we've extended our contract, which we've made, which we've made up about. And, um, so there's the pipe removed that Alex has found there. So we'll try and we'll try and follow the path of that with the one above, and then it's it's going to be easy to shutter then. Shutter the two pipes together, and then it's going to head if into the middle, and then back across over there. So still a lot to do yet. We've got the pipe to cut off. We've got to dig that front section out, and then we've got to divert the pipe and put the shutter in because um, we've done the fully done ourselves here, but we've ordered the concrete. <laughs> Got a bit giddy there, I think, but at least we don't have to go far to go to the toilet and get a drink. <laughs> right, let's get, this, let's get cracking. Right, we're at that time. Pipe is coming out. We managed to get back to a, the, uh, the, I think it was a tea, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're going to cut pull out the tea, we're going to cut it off here, this end, and then that, that gives the pipe plenty long enough because it's having the bends on it, and then we can mess around at this end and then cut it back where we need to. What's and nice is for that one over there, we've got a piece of pipe that big, so we can shove that in, put the corner on, and that should line up over there. Yeah. All right, so it's going to be a saws all job. Right, out of here. Yeah. Seconds. That's it. Pull it to your orgy and up. There you go. And then persuade it out. And hope the junction doesn't pull off. <laughs> We've got to be careful with the pipes in the ground. Yeah, that's just a rough cut for now. We're going to cut that mm. back because we need to go back past the concrete, obviously. Drop it down as flat as you can. Oh. Oh. Nice. Black standing water in a pipe is not a good sign. So they're obviously installed wrong somehow. It's probably got a backfall on it knowing them what. But anyway, pipe's out, we can start digging this out now. We'll get the pipe bedding out and then we get the rest of the dig done, which is won't be much left after that. There's near. Catch in a bit.
10 to 5. 10 to f bloody 5. There you go. We dug. But that's just the beginning. This is loose, so this all needs um some touching it. Yeah. There's the original pipe that we moved, which is now in our way. That was the original job. And as you can see, this line here, this is what we've decided on. After what's this about plan G? Yeah. So what we've done is we've worked out projection for the wall, which is 1300. I've allowed 60 mil for a cavity, which is a bit extra. Then you've got your internal skin, and then this line is the centre of where the pipe goes. So the pipe's going to pop through the wall and run down the trench. Because you can bet your life if we dug through the middle of that, which we were thinking about doing, that would just fall that way or that way. Because we've never had so many cave-ins, have we? So, um, yeah, it's been a right proper, proper slog. They are concrete block, Alex. One trench, one concrete block. Mm. Yeah, and then five face. So, that, yeah, there's our depth. It's not the prettiest dig, but um, it, it is what it is. We're gonna let the, we're gonna put polystyrene or something around this, wrap it with something so the concrete coming into contact with it, putting a pipe over the, uh, the alkaline, and then here where Alex is there, we're gonna have to shutter it there and there because we can't have the concrete going on the pipe, and then we'll have to shutter it here and shutter it on this corner because the concrete's gonna be coming up here. Do you know what? I might work out how far a cube will go. And if the cube will take us far enough, we'll just leave this and let the concrete go over the corner. It'd be, it'd be hard to move though, wouldn't it? What? Concrete. I think we're, I think we're coming up to about here with the concrete. But anyway, we've got all the gear out. Got all the batteries on charge. Because uh, the customer charges the batteries. And uh, as you can see, I'll just show you if we have made a start. So that's perfect. So Dad said this line is for the centre of the pipe and what we've got here actually works out perfectly. So that's gonna sit we've also we've also dug a little mini trench here for it to sit on. So that's gonna sit there. We're gonna get that part worked out now. I think Dad's gonna have to cut that back a little bit, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get that done and then we'll get the rest of this pipe set up and then that's all the drainage done. And then it's shuttering after that. There we go. That is not bad for cutting back as far as I can. I hate doing that. See online all the time, people using the grinder without the guard. I hate doing that, but that's the only way I could get that in. Like that. And then I nice to get a good chamfer on it as well. So now it's time to start getting the 45s on. Get it thrown as cross as quick as possible so we're not on the corner. Get the get the drains away from the corner. Every dig, every dig we do, we have drainage on the corner of the blue footing. Not today. Right, let's get this done, Mark. Please, Mark, let's get us back. time is it? I know tea's ready. I've just had a blast from the past seeing Andy Hewitt and old mate. 20 to 6. Oh god. 
tea's ready anyway so basically well we're done with the jet drainage anyway that's what we've done they should be able to get a rod through there and it's surface water anyway we just need to set this so we've still got to fall on it and then we've just got this is only narrow because this is single skin through here because this is the um, door and um, we just need to shut it here along here now so we concrete up to the pipe so I'm actually going to do this while I go and get my tea and then we've got to put a shutter on that corner and uh, obviously shut the pipes as well so I'm not going to say shut in again anymore but there's a lot to do so I'm going to come go and get my tea I'll be back in a minute that big box it's an interesting box isn't it I'll show you what's in there in a minute uh, I'm struggling here like Alan Sugar when he doesn't know to fire how to go about this I'm a bit later not a carpenter or joiner so um, just everything's in the bloody way I want to um, I think I'm going to use that door we're going to rip it down and probably sit it on a brick there and sit on a brick on the other end maybe even two bricks so that it sits up and the concrete goes under the shutter so that the, um, the concrete is still nice and wide see we've not got we've not gone too wide on this because the wall is only going to be 250 so that's plenty spread for it and it's only a porch bear in mind so we're just waiting for Alex to come back and we'll scratch our heads and work something out and muddle through again it's like it's fast approaching seven o'clock so but at least we haven't got a long journey home and then um, concrete's coming tomorrow I did tell them what was in the big box we well, finally get to use it now though don't you yeah. we've been waiting for ages for the job I did tease them showing the big box I haven't shown what it is yet ready close oh, your eyes we're waiting Lovely stuff. With the fed up with the forge battery. Yes. And it's got a good break on it. <coughs> Made up with that. Let's uh, brush the cobwebs off it and get it used. Yes. Very nice. Right. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get some air defenders though. Yeah. Oh, yours, I can't reach now. Oh. Well, that's what. I want to come in from your end. Be easier. Mm -hmm. Come. Which uh, uh it's the zero. Th this one here? Yep. That's the, it. the middle of it or to that side. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's only a rough cut in it. I'm not enjoying this challenge. I'm enjoying using the new saw, but trying to shutter these off. No concrete's got to go near this pipe, but we want the concrete hook to come up higher around this pipe. So we've got to have left this the shutter high so the concrete can go underneath. And then this is keeping the concrete away from the pipe. Okay, I'll. And then, so it's just a mismatch because you've got the same pipe, just pipes going in all directions. So. We need to get a piece across here now to keep the concrete out of here and then we need to get a piece up here full height to keep all the concrete out of here and then um, as soon as we get home from work tomorrow we've got to strip this as quick as we can so that this doesn't get stuck in the ground because this pipe needs setting it's put in because it's got four bends in it it didn't have much of a fall in the first place all the pipe needs setting in place like pipe bedding going underneath it so um, that's that's we need to do that first thing but um main thing is we'll have concrete in tomorrow it's half seven now Whew. been a long day so yeah it's an absolute 
mishmash, but it is what it is. Can't think of an easier way of moving that pipe without taking it. I mean, the further you, the further out you go, the less chance you've got of getting a fall on it. So, as as you can see, that's just going to go where the um, behind the wall. Yeah, the wall sits here, and this is going to be in the wall about that much. But we're going to build up to it and lintel over it. So you'll just have a little gap over it when we come to here and then that can be removed. That's just holding it in position at the moment for when the concrete goes in and we've got some like foam stuff that we'll put round it to stop it actually being concreted in. And I don't know how we're going to do that either but um, I don't know. And I might get a tin of um, expanding foam later and just um, go around here with it, keep the concrete out of the pipe very frustrating but it needs to be done ridiculous because it's half eight at least it's not dark just putting the levels yes <laughs> at least we can see the laser yeah. laser shows up on camera um, there's my ladder for me getting out, in and out the hole got a bit of tidying up to do um, it's not 100 where the concrete's going yeah that's too small. Is it? Yeah. Is the other one next to it too small? No. Right, we'll just have to uh, uh, think you put a screw strip onto it. Or as you're pouring the concrete, slide it. Slide something in. Into the concrete. What do you think? screw something to it now yeah I don't want to be fiddling around with this yeah. tomorrow yeah we've got we've managed to get concrete for 12 o'clock ish tomorrow so we're in Muggle so Alex's mum's gonna come and get him bring him back while he sorts this lad out and then um, once the concrete's in he's coming back to work we've, uh, we had our zoom with Milwaukee today so we never got a chance to go to work today and it was a last minute thing because we got the times mixed up so we had to cancel the whole day but we managed to get this done it looks just unbelievable it's a good job we filmed it because no one would believe why it took us so long <laughs> this porch better be worth it yeah so let's just get the levels in I'm going to get some spray foam to seal up that pipe that's going to go around the um, alkathene so the concrete isn't actually touching the alkathene so it, it's like flexible, it can move and then we're going to get the concrete to go underneath the water meter and then probably just put a bit of timber each side of it so it's not actually concreted in Should we just put a bit of 3B2 on? Um, is that enough? Probably stood up right, yeah Or do you just want to cut that, see that strip? Just carry that strip along. Which strip? It's another bit that's sticking out on that big board. Yeah. Just carry that along. Just screw that on. It's not, it's not long enough though. Yeah, cut it that long. Cut it longer. I don't mean cut it off. Cut, carry that along until it's long enough. Could do, yeah. You're yeah. already doing that from up there. Yeah. Better hurry up because it's a half eight and all the kids are going to be in bed. Probably going to get a bit of stick in a minute. Look, see, that late, the moths are out. Right, I'm going to get this cut for Alex and I'm going to start putting gear away.
and believe it or not, that labyrinth that you see is uh, <laughs> is our fully set out foundation, complete with levels all over the place. We've screwed in. We want it. We've screwed in here into the boards, and obviously our traditional nails in the in the dirt. But yeah, there we go. That was a nightmare. <laughs> I need to sugarcoat it. Look at it. Just... obviously. Don't ever said this before. Well, I'm glad this wasn't a job for somebody else because there's no way I'd have priced that amount of time to do that bit of a footing. Yeah. Not in a million years. Uh, this is the definition of you never know what you're going to find. Can you how much less concrete would be going in if we made the pipe go through the air uh, through the pudding? Mean. If you're on a sharper angle, there'd be more pipe going through the uh, footing. Yeah, so they, there'd be much more um, yeah. shut it off. Yeah. But yeah, we, so. We made the best of a bad job there. Yeah. I don't know what, what, any, what else we could. I'm sure we'll get bombarded in the comments about how crap it is and how we've done it wrong and how other people do it. But being here on the ground and doing a lot of these over the years, that's. That's it. And we're going to have to strip everything out before the concrete goes off. Otherwise, it's not going to come out. So when we get home from work, it's coming out while well, it's still green, and then we can adjust that pipe. I've already said that, but uh, that's the plan. There you go. So I will catch you. I will catch you tomorrow for the pour, and we'll see how that goes. Right, seven twenty-six. Just before we leave for work. I'll actually just um, chop that bit back there because we put the uh, lump of clay in the way so the lads can get in with the barrows otherwise no way of getting in there we've got the um, expanding foam not expanding foam, expansion joint foam we grabbed the night before sheet of that so I got that last night from the garage just to put it around there loose and uh, tape the pipe up and foam around the end of the pipe so there's no concrete getting through the pipe so basically the meat is going to be held in by concrete, but it's going to have an expansion. It's going to have a yeah, an expansion joint around it. It's not going to be not going to be coming into contact with the concrete, so there's room for for movement. And um, we're going to be skimming over the top of that by about 80 mil. It's going to be a pain building up to it till we get over the top of it, but um, needs must. There's no way of switching the water out on the street to turn this off to move it back, and I don't want to mess around with the water anyway. So. Um, yeah, we're going to work now. Christine's coming to get Alex later when the concrete's on its way, and now I'm going to stay at work. And Alex is going to supervise. He's got all the levels in. Coming up 4:50 with the concrete, and then we'll have five courses left. So we'll have, we'll probably have a block and two two face, and then a block and two common. Let's see. We've got plenty of face pickles, so we'll say we've got plenty of the reds because it's reds up to up to DPC. Then you buff. And red again. Right, see you at her. Uh, see you later. Sorry I couldn't uh, get you set up or get any fancy shots then, it was uh, full steam ahead, we, <laughs> mum picked me up and they were there <laughs> ringing the doorbell looking for someone, but thank you very much Concrete Company. I'll tell you what, that, I think that's the most satisfying foundation dig I've ever 
being a part of because that hell has been buried now. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of concrete that's gone down there, but later on tonight when me and dad get home, we're gonna take all these out so I can probably get under, I've got most of it with my gloves, so they, they've got to go in the bin now, but I've got most of it out with my gloves and we can get the rest out when some more of this uh, timber's out of the way. Because if we get this out now before it goes too solid, we can get rid of it then. There you go. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> so there's the shuttering for the pipe. That shuttering is just to make sure it didn't all fall into that cave in. I've just put some excess concrete there. It's all tamped. And our very fussy customer is, uh, seems to be happy. I'll sign out just in case, in case Dad wants to do a uh, foundation and slab as a video. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed our absolute torment and misery, what you saw of it on camera anyway, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you're always notified when we upload, which is a massive help. And any additional support you want to give, there is the super thanks under the video or the dad's PayPal in the description, which that's not necessary by any means. We greatly appreciate, but at the same time, that's not necessary. Your views, likes and subscriptions are a massive help as it is. So this has been Bricklaying with Steve and Alex with the most nightmarish dig of our bloody lives and we will see you in the next one. Throw the towel in.